Hey you guys, it's your boy Phoenix Sage here, setting your heart ablaze again with another fire hot episode of South Park Stick of Truth, episode 4 you guys, hey this episode is going to be about Clyde and Princess Kenny, you feel me? Man, let's get it, hey like, subscribe and enjoy you guys. Everyone listen up, the girls have agreed to fight by our side. Huzzah! The pirates and the federation factions are standing by to fight as well my lord, then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clyde's house. Today, we are not elves and humans. Today, we fight as one. What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, God damn it! Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare, ready, and let's be the plan. Plan? Fools, you thought you could conquer the fortress of darkness. Clyde, back away from that stuff. Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way! They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss it? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Ah! Get him, Commander Douchebag! God damn! Damn it! Children, everybody, I'm back! Enough of this! Eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and space! Ah! <laughs> we did it, dude. That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. That is... Until four years ago, when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... 
I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything, anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! 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 Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? Has some sense? You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kinney? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the Stick from you. For Princess Guinea is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Princess Kitty, come back here! Yeah. Give us a stick, Princess Kitty. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. Man, that was a crazy episode. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this episode. It's gonna be another episode coming soon, you guys. Episode five. Man, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, you guys. Thank you for all the support. I love you guys, and let's get it popping, you guys. Road to two thousand. Let's go.